Hello! Today we're going to be making this super cute medon pan shaped like pom pom pudding. I found this recipe on a blog called joepastry.com and of course I'll have the link in the description box. The recipe came out really well and I wanted to share it with you guys, so let's get started! First, to make the cookie crust, cream together 3 tablespoons of softened butter and 3 tablespoons of sugar in a mixing bowl. Then crack in one egg and beat it in until it's incorporated. Add in 1 8 teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix it in as well. Sift in 3 4 cups of all-purpose flour along with 1 8 teaspoon of baking powder and fold it in with a spatula until a very sticky dough forms. Transfer this dough to a sheet of plastic wrap, roll it into a log, wrap it tightly, and then keep it in the refrigerator until needed. Moving on to the actual bread dough, place 1 cup of bread flour, 3 4 teaspoons of dry active yeast, 2 tablespoons of sugar, and a pinch of salt into a mixing bowl. I didn't have bread flour, so I used all-purpose flour, and the recipe still worked out great. Stir those ingredients together, and now we're going to add in 1 third cup of lukewarm water. Roughly combine this with a wooden spoon, and then turn the dough out onto a work surface. Lightly knead the dough with your hands just until it comes together. I know you're going to be tempted to add more water because the dough is really dry at this point, but just hold on because we're going to be adding some butter. So go ahead and spread on 1 tablespoon of softened butter onto the dough. Knead that in, and now the dough is going to feel too wet. But I promise you, if you just keep on kneading it, eventually you'll get a really soft, smooth dough. I kneaded the dough for about 20 minutes, but it depends on your arm strength, so you might take less or more time. The dough shouldn't be greasy anymore from the butter, and it's going to be very soft and smooth. Place the dough back into the mixing bowl and cover it with a sheet of plastic wrap. Leave the dough in a warm place to rest for about 1 hour or until it doubles in size. Once the dough has risen, take it out and lightly knead it just to get rid of the gas inside. Divide the dough into 6 equal pieces and roll them into balls. Set these aside and we're going to go back to our cookie dough. So take it out of the refrigerator and we're also going to divide this into 6 equal pieces. Place one cookie dough ball onto a sheet of plastic wrap and cover it completely. Roll the dough out to about 3.5 inches in diameter and place one dough ball in the center. The cookie dough gets soft very easily, so while you're working with one, I recommend keeping the others in the fridge. Wrap the dough in the cookie sheet, but it's fine if you don't cover it completely. Dip the dough into a bowl of granulated sugar, and then make a crisscross pattern with the knife. Place the finished metal pan onto a baking sheet and let it sit in a warm place for 45 minutes. Once that time has passed, bake at 375 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the tops are golden brown.
while the finished bread is cooling, we're going to be making the icing. So in a small bowl, combine 2 tablespoons of powdered sugar, 1 teaspoon of unsweetened cocoa, and 1 teaspoon of water. Stir this together until a relatively thick icing forms. To make a very simple piping bag, fold up a sheet of parchment paper as shown. Fill it with the icing and in the center of a bun make a small oval. You can use a toothpick to help you adjust the shape. Then make a small straight line down and make two curved lines attached to the straight one. For the eyes, just make two dots. For the hat, make a boat shape and for the ears, make two curved lines. Once you have decorated all your metal pun to this point, thin out your icing with a little bit more water and then use it to fill in the hat. And now our very cute middle pun is completed. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!